Let me take this opportunity and appreciate everyone who has been coming back to watch my videos. Those who have been sharing my link. And most important, Tunis have always vowed to stand by me. And that's why I always have something for Tunis. So the sun has already gone down, but still we have to deliver what we promise. So I have a write up here which I'll be reading the lessons that we have learned from Trinidad and Tobago lesson number one uh, everybody in Trinidad and Tobago is a relative yeah these guys love each other when you meet when you meet uh, from whatever I've been observing from videos done by different creators those guys mingling with the word the Maya mingling with um, African tigers these guys love each other guys will be dancing on the streets without caring whether you ever met this person or not without caring whether you will ever meet that person again so they be like they be out there calling the African tigers oh our African African sister Af calling the word calling the my African brother so that shows you that how they love all human beings equally how they love everyone equally these guys are historians that's for sure a tree a tree will give you the entire history of their country they will have to show you all this so this guy wrote to me uh, his name was uh, Benchi. Benchi was like one of the most famous Pan-African Pan -African pioneers. Uh, he's a man named Kwame Ture. Yeah. He is from Trinidad and was married to a famous South African entertainer named Miriam Makeba. He was famous also for... Yeah. Then uh, I replied, um, in Africa we had Kwame Nkrumah as well. Uh, I now believe a name can be a blessing to someone in this guys. So I was like, yeah. He took uh, the same name from the from Ghana leader. TNT helped, um, helped write their constitution. Um, what is, does he mean, yo? Uh, hmm, hmm. George Padma from TNT was, was his friend and advisor. So. How do you guys there uh, get to learn all this? Um, the boy train is found their final resting place in Ghana. According to Benji, every Pan African who lived way back, they all find, found their resting place in Ghana. That means they all died and buried in Ghana. So, what is the connection between Ghana and uh, the Caribbean? Yeah, train is have a belief that uh, they all came from Africa, which is so true. They have gone ahead to research about the ancestral land. So I have this friend by the name uh, Barbara, who is living in the US. She once told me that uh, I did the research. And for sure, my relatives uh, came, from, came from Kenya and Ghana. Yeah, that shows you that how these guys are historians how they are able to research and um, yeah and find out where they came from that's so good i wish everyone loved their their origin that much oh my book fell down so i uh, something else um they are so appreciative when i started doing these videos about trinidad and tobago these guys were so were coming to my wall writing. Oh, thank you so much for showcasing our country. Thank you so much for being our ambassador. They even gave me the title ambassador without even consulting their their political leaders. Yeah, they were like, oh, uh, continue representing us out there. We are going to make sure that we are going to stand with you and making making sure that your channel grows. Make sure that you visit Trinidad for the 
for the carnival. I even came to learn that we have another event. Yeah, we have another event which they calling. Let me let me tell you what, how the emancipation, emancipation which is taking place in August. So these guys, that's another lesson. These people are happy people. They like being happy. They don't keep grudges. So we are just done with the carnival, and now it's another time. Yeah. We started to prepare for the emancipation. I love this. I wish to live in uh, Trinidad and Tobago. But hey, Kenyans should think of starting such a, <laughs> such events. Yeah? You don't need to only wait for the public holidays for you to party. You need to be living happy. You need to live a good life. Yeah? We need to... Uh, to have an event whereby people go out there and share with their neighbors. So, we have um, another lesson learned that Trinis love their neighbors. Whenever I'm doing these videos about this country, these guys will always come to my wall and write that, um, please do this video about Saint Saint what Saint Kitty and Taos. Is it Kitty something? Saint Kitts and Navis. Kindly do a video about Grenada. Do a video about Suriname. That shows you that uh, they love their neighbors. Yeah. Do a video about talk about, talk about um, Jamaica. Though I learned that uh, at some point. We have competition. Trinis and Jamaicans will always compete who is more superior, who is more rich. But ac according to the um, data I'm getting online, Trinidad, is more, Trinidad and Tobago is more rich, but Jamaicans are more famous. We have majority of artists from Jamaica. We, reggae, most of the reggae musicians come from Jamaica. Raga musicians, we have the dancers, they all come from Jamaica. But Trinidad have some, have a set of special musicians, the kinds of uh, 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 something, somebody, Trinidad gems. We have um, Calypso Rose, we have Nicki Minaj, a very famous. But then you can't compare Nicki Minaj to any of uh, Jamaica musicians. She's so famous. She's more influential. Though I know, I, I know, everyone uh, is a fan of different kind of music. Kindly leave a comment there. Who's for more famous between Conscience, Nicki Minaj, and uh, Vibes Cartel? Leave a comment there. We have some. We had some famous. Uh, reggae artists, the likes of Bob Ma Bob Marley. Yeah, that's so true. Bob Marley so was so influential, though now he's late. I don't know whether we there there will ever be someone influential than Bob Marley. He made um, very significant uh, impact in the society. I think Bob Marley was the one who sang, who sang this song, "Abortion is a crime," right? Leave a comment there. I want to know. I want to know. Myself, I'm a fan of Stanley and Turbans. Yeah? Singing about the Trinidad, the carnival. Yeah? You know, we all have different values and everyone will praise their own um, art. Yeah, we have something different. Um, Trinis love. Oh, did I say that? Yeah. Trinis are so hospitable. By the way, this is the only country whereby people have come out to tell me that uh, go see Africa, you need to visit our country. Uh, and I'm ready to offer transport, accommodation, and uh, part of your meals. But there's so many guys have made these offers. Yeah? So I'm here to choose. Whom do I go to? Whom do I leave out? 
but even if I, le I left you out, I will still do something with you. I will still visit you. I will still uh, feature you in my videos. But I love you all, guys. I will never discriminate my fans. Yeah. Now that Trinidad has always uh, vowed to stand by me, and this is the reason I'm gaining this courage to do videos about about uh, Trinidad. Yeah, to an extent that uh, I'm loving Trinidad more, more than my own country. My own country has always been uh, against what I do. Yeah, they like videos done in Swahili, which of which I don't do mine in Swahili. So you expect it. They don't watch me, but in future, I wish that Kenya becomes uh, part of my favorite countries yeah part of the audience that i know these guys will never fail me yeah mm. yeah trainees know their country so well you know in some countries it's very ob obvious that uh, some of their citizens don't even know their main economic activity but for trinidad they are aware that uh, they they produce uh, this and this. They produce oil by the in large quantities. That's something I've learned about Trinidad. Trinidad, every every citizen of Trinidad knows very well, knows their musicians so well. They know they are they are prominent people so well. Even those who lived decades ago, centuries ago, Trinidad are so genuine and. Uh, you never expect to react negative in any way. Even if something attack them uh, negatively, they will always find a way to answer in a positive manner. So there is a statement that we made on our recent video whereby Claudia said that uh, during carnival, this lady is dance half naked. It's totally against what happens in Africa. Then this lady was like, uh, oh, the day after carnival is called Ash Wednesday. Yeah, when our ladies are well dressed, so you forget what happened yesterday. Yeah, we say whatever happens in Vegas remains in Vegas. I want us to interact. Kindly leave a comment. How do you, how do you find that statement? Yeah, when it's time to party, you party. When it's time to do the right thing, you do the right thing. You forget what happens happened yesterday, and uh, you even go ahead to repent. Yeah, you start a new life afresh. You yeah. know, I'm loving everything about Trinidad and Tobago. So kindly leave a comment there. Let everyone comment. Yeah, but then I'm liking. I'm, I like it whenever we all go to the comment section and chat. Have a good chat. Some guys always, uh, oh, some guys at times uh, take my number and WhatsApp me. Yeah. I have my uh, my description box will always have that number, the WhatsApp number whereby we can you can always get it and we have a chat. Yeah. I need to create personal friendship with my fans. You know, we have some content creators who treat themselves as superstars. For me, I don't, I don't treat myself as a superstar. So I would always want to form a, a personal friendship with you guys. Let us always interact, yeah? Such that whenever I visit your area, whenever I come to your country, we can always move around together, we go swimming together, yeah? We go for the cruise, cruise ships, yeah? We go cruise together, yeah? I love that. Whoever plays soccer, I, I times I do play soccer, we can always play soccer. So kindly like this video and share the link with your friends. My name is Go See Africa. Goodbye.